So below the CCMP, obviously, we have the one that we are studying for today, the CCNA. Uh, there are two methods for accomplishing the CCNA. Uh, you can do a, a single test method, the, the 640802, which is actually the, the book that we're studying, or you can do the, the two test me method, the ICND-1, 64822, and ICND-2, 64816. Um, Willie's actually got the, the book. When, whenever I started doing mine, I was going to do the two test method, and um, after going through that, I would highly, highly recommend the one test method. Um, to give you a little bit of background on, on me, I studied very, I, I studied very long and hard on both exams. Um, I maybe tried to press it a little bit much on the second one, but I did well enough on the first one. Got through it first time, no problems. Um, and when I was taking the second one, I was trying to to get through it before I went on vacation because I wanted to start studying for the CCMP as soon as we left. You know, I had. Hours we were going to be on the road, I was going to be listening to CBT Nuggets videos, that kind of thing, and um, so I went in, I took the uh, part two, and while I was taking it, I was running a little bit behind, I spent a little bit too much time on one of the simulations, kind of, I was a little bit flustered because um, I, I knew I was running out of time, time is a, a big thing whenever you're taking the exams, uh, time management, and um, <laughs> what happened was, I got to where I had about 10 questions of the, you know, 60 or so questions on the exam that were left, and the, the server at the testing center crashed, and everyone there who was taking any kind of examination, they, um, they could not, it, it just crapped out like in the middle of their exam, and man, it just, it destroyed my nerve, because for one, the, the time was still clocking down while I was doing this, so I lost like a couple minutes of the like, you know, final few minutes I had to finish these these ten questions, and uh, you know I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to save anything. They had to reboot the the system, and so they finally got it back together. I was left to like six minutes left to do ten questions, so I just rushed through them, and then I ended up failing the exam by a single question. Uh, and man, I was I was really mad because when you take the exams, you can't. Um, you can't take the same exam with it. I think it's like five working days. And so like I was going on vacation the next day and I was just so pissed. I wanted to have this done so I could start working on the other stuff and not have to worry about the CCNA anymore. Um, but the, the loophole was that I could still take the one test method. Uh, it was like another 250 bucks instead of 125 for the, the two single ones. But the, uh, the 250 option was available. So I said, screw it. I want to take the 250. I paid for it right there at the testing center. Took that. Um, and I did better on the the one test method than I you know just score wise than I did on either the ICND one or the ICND two. So prior to the the change to 64802 when they were on 64801, a number of people I talked to um, had also recommended highly that taking the one test method. So I I put you know with experience I put forth that same recommendation to all of you. Um, you know if you want to take the the one test method by all means go ahead. But I strongly, strongly recommend the uh, the one test method. Um, the The actual exam itself consists of a combination of router simulations, multiple choice single answer, multiple choice multiple answer, answer, and matching items. the uh, The one that kind of throws me off a little bit is the multiple choice multiple answer. Um, Cisco's actually gotten a little bit better at this, and that they'll they'll tell you, you know, out of five items, choose the best two or the best three. On some of the older Cisco exams, it was just uh, choose all that apply, and you had no idea which ones, uh, you know, how, how many choices you had. So I think that used to throw off a lot of people um, because they would get down to where, you know, they knew two for sure, and then there would be one that was kind of a maybe, depending on, like, the logic you used to derive your answer. And so people would either end up leaving one out or adding one that they shouldn't. So I, Cisco finally, I guess, amended that, that question type and on the multiple choice, multiple answers, that will at least tell you how many, uh, how many answers are included out of the, the ones you've got to choose from. Um, so the, uh, the router simulations is a big one. Um, you cannot pass the test without passing at least one of the router simulations, even if you get every single one of the other like multiple choice kind of questions right. So um, when we get toward the end of this uh, this course, we're going to put a lot of focus on making sure people know how to do the router uh, simulations because uh, the router simulations actually give you the the best um, the best barometer of whether you're actually able to go out and do this in the real world. Okay, and then uh, below the 
the CCNA is the Cisco Certified Entry Networking Technician. Uh, like I said, relatively new certification track. Provides a certification for a skill level just below the CCNA. You know, first very entry level uh, to networking. Um, and you know, once again, you, you just take the first of the two test method for the uh, the CCNT, um, the 64822. The thing about the the, the CCE and T is you never really see anyone ask for it like in the job market um, you know kind of glancing over like job offerings for a couple of years now I think I've seen one single ad that actually wanted a CCNT everybody knows about the CCNA I think part of it is that um, employers uh, it's like a two thing two things uh, one is that employers either don't know about the CCE and T you know everyone knows about the CCNA it seems like may not know about the CCNT because it's newer, it's lower level, people don't advertise as much. And then uh, two, if you know they, they want someone with a higher level of skill perhaps, so CCNT may not, uh, not meet the needs for that. Um, so with respect to this particular course, um, I'm going to try to gauge it uh, a little bit more based on these first few classes is you know how people are doing um, who's got their books where they've they've read up to at this point because I know that I've talked to a lot of people that you know ordered their books weeks ago still haven't received them so um, I do have the PDF of the book that is available I can give that to you guys after class um, so that you guys can get caught up until you get the actual like physical book, physical books in your hands I think some people were gonna try to do just a PDF alone I can't do it that way myself you know for um, a PDF I can read a I can read a PDF but for a 900 page you know book tome uh, I need an actual book in my hands and so this um, the, the PDF is nice it, it'll keep you guys afloat for a few weeks until you get those books but I would highly highly recommend ordering your book if you haven't already you really should have already if you haven't you should have already read the first few chapters if possible um, but like I said I understand that there's some uh, situations out of people's control where they haven't received their book, that kind of thing. So, um, on that same note, reading the chapters before the class, uh, covering that material is absolutely essential. I cannot stress this enough. I had to write that in the slide. I cannot stress this enough. Reading the chapters is critical to learning and retaining the material. Um, you know, if you, you go elsewhere to these little boot camps where they just try to jam in the, the answers to the tests in your head, uh, I... That may work. It really, I don't see how it works. You know, have, having gone through it myself, to, to be able to just do that, just shoving the answers and still pass the the simulations and that kind of thing. But it, to me, to really get a full grasp of the uh, the material, you absolutely have to read the book. And so, uh, on that same note, our book. Uh, this was already sent out to you guys, but refresher uh, the CCNA um, exam prep book second edition. Uh, ben was saying there's actually a third edition now. I don't know um, what the difference is, but this is the book I used. The 64802 exam is still valid. Um, I, I have this book. This is the book I'm going to be teaching the course out of. So, I mean, you guys feel free to get whatever book you want. You guys can get the, the regular Cisco um, press books. I, I've used the Cisco press books. They're very good. I've used that for everything else outside of the actual CCNT, CCNA. Um, but, but this, I... I'm going to use because it's the book I use and because uh, primarily it's written by Jeremy Chara who is a uh, the CBT Nuggets uh, guy and he is an exceptional teacher um, you know what you guys can get out of CBT Nuggets is going to far far exceed what you're going to get here out of this class the class here is, is primarily to get you guys to where you're you're in a group environment, you're motivated because it's something that's happening every week, you don't necessarily have to be completely motivated on your own, I, I know that's difficult for a lot of people, uh, myself included, it took me a long time to um, get the motivation to actually um, to actually uh, get my CCNA, it probably would not have happened if it weren't for my roommate William was doing it at the same time, and I'm very competitive, um, so <laughs> that's, that's what kind of led into that.